12.53 in the morning. Yeah. So today was... Man, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. Today was all right. It was, it was pretty good. I woke up at 9 o'clock sharp after missing my previous two alarms. I'm that guy. I set multiple alarms so I can wake up. So, I mean, yeah. Set multiple alarms, woke up at 9 o'clock, and then I was like, crap. I was supposed to be there at 9 o'clock. <sighs> so I got dressed and got ready in about, oh, I don't know, four minutes. And then I left, got there at like 9.23. And I was hanging out with my buddy and we're like, yeah, we're going to watch this great movie. And we get in there and he starts just making breakfast and we're just chatting it up. And then we put on the movie and at this point it's like 10.20 or something. <clears throat> we get about 10 minutes into it. And then he presses pause for a second, and then we both kind of look up, doing our thing, where we check to see how much time is left. It's just like a like a knee-jerk reaction to things getting paused for me, because it's like, oh, you know, I can set up and plan how much time is left. And we saw that the movie was two hours long. Two and a half hours long, to be accurate. And we're like... What? And this movie is called The Raid The Raid 2, which is a freaking ridiculous movie. The Raid 1, well, The Raid, really good movie. The Raid 2, ridiculous. Almost better. Almost better. It, it was definitely on equal standing, at least. Um, oh, man, but that movie was so crazy. And so we finish up, we finish hanging out, we're good buddies, having the time of our lives, and then I just get ready. I go home and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go grab my stuff and pack it up and move it up to Redmond. And then um, I get home and like all the lights are off. I'm like, what's, what's going on? And I check everything. And the reason I found out that the power was out was because I was going to bake a pizza. So I hit the oven button and it's just not going on. So I'm like, what? And yeah. So then another friend came over and he was like, dude, can we just talk about stuff? So we did. We talked about super deep stuff for like an hour and a half. And it was nice. It was really nice. I needed that. It was good. And then these guys come over and are dorking around in our yard. And I'm, I'm like, hey, you know, this is our yard. Who are you? What are you doing? Get out. And they're like, oh, we're fixing your, your power. Yeah. We're like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. Keep going. So they fix the power. I make my freaking pizzas. And then I get ready and then I leave. Uh, sadly because I was really enjoying that conversation and then I get up there and freaking pack out my crap and move out a bunch of stuff oh yeah and then I got to drive around and check some uh, I got to drive around and check out some stores there's a Krav Maga place there's a Muay Thai place there is a um, there's a dance ballroom and there's a church and I hit up all of them to check out like what the times and stuff were and so I'm pretty stoked because Krav Maga, like, here, here's my thing. My thing is, my schedule with school, all of my classes end at 6. That's the cutoff point where they all end, and then I can just do whatever. So I found that out and was like, crap, 6. That's, like, right when some of these classes are. So I get to the Krav Maga place, and they're like, hey, Mondays and Tuesdays starts at 6. Thursdays and no, Tuesdays and Thursdays starts at 7. I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. I could at least hit two per week. That's sick. And I get to the Muay Thai place, and I check out their schedule, and they're like, hey, yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays starts at 6.30. So I'm like, hey, Monday Krav, Tuesday Muay Thai, Wednesday Krav, Thursday Muay Thai. Hey, that'd be super cool. So, I mean, I'm getting ready. I'm getting pumped up to, like, learn how to fight like a tiger. It's going to be hot. And then we go out and we watch Monty Python and search for the Holy Grail at a open open air theater thing they were having at the park and that was awesome. There's a ridiculous amount of girls there which just made me realize exactly how single I was. So I mean that's depressing but necessary. And then went back and drove home listening to this album by Pandora's no the album Pandora Pinata. Pandora's Pinata. Yeah. That album.
really good album. I just drove home listening to that super loud and was like being all emotional, like, yeah, and coming up with music videos in my head to the songs, and it's pretty good, good stuff. So now I'm just going to crash on the couch because I've moved most of my stuff up there already, and I don't know, have a good night, you know, you know what I'm saying? What kind of person are you? Are you the kind of person that only needs one alarm? Or do you set multiple alarms, like, within minutes of each other? And what do you use to wake up? Like, what do other people use to wake up? I like waking up to sunlight, but that's not always possible. So, I mean, you know, things change. Have a good night, guys. Um, hope you have a great day. Hope you have a better attitude than I am having at the moment, because I'm all angry. But, whatever. Peace out. Phew.